Hi friend, welcome. This is Aunt Beth. Welcome to my lamp post, the light that I'm currently living by. Um, I believe if you click the subscribe button, you'll be notified when I post and hopefully that will be twice a week. Um, I'm, my goal is Wednesdays and Friday and Sundays. So today I wanted to talk to you about rules. So good ones. Um, or a code to live by maybe. It's a better way to say that. Um, the My friends and family and youth groups that I've traveled with um, all know what I consider rule number one. <laughs> And it's become a joke over the past 35 years or so. And rule number one, if you don't know, is never miss an opportunity to eat, sleep, or go to the bathroom. And I have ignored that rule, embarrassingly so, at my peril. <laughs> so it's a big joke, but it helps when you're in the middle of, do I really have time or should I just get going? To remember rule number one and you will never be sorry so well, I was talking to my prayer partner the other day and we were talking about maybe we need a rule number two and that rule that I'm suggesting for my life is never miss an opportunity to be kind um, I know many of us, our mothers probably sent us out the door in the morning saying, be nice. <laughs> but I think it's it's not a bad thing uh, to just remember when you're debating about whether you have time or not, to be kind. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to like the person, but what I want you to think about is this is an aspect of your character, of your life, that you're being intentional about and you're building. Um, when you're gone, you've stepped into eternity, as a friend of mine would say, either smoking or non-smoking, <laughs> but heaven or hell, um, how are people going to remember you? And what is the character of your life that you have built? If you think of the fragrance of your life. Um, there's another aspect of this. New Agers would call it karma. But the Bible calls it you reap what you sow. So if you want kindness in your life, it's time, I think, to be intentional about being kind. Um, I looked up the definitions in Strong's, and I love some of these. It's um, personal involvement and commitment beyond the rule of law. It's more than a legal obligation. It's contributing positively to the condition of a situation. To act benevolently. Benevolently, I can't say that word. To treat someone as one's own family. Goodness and gracious. Goodness in action. Grace, tenderness, compassion. Usefulness, gentleness, goodness. A virtue that pervades and penetrates the whole nature. Mellows anything harsh and austere. It's gentle, charming, calm. Delightful in encouragement. Moderate in manners. And doesn't that sound lovely? I think if you reap what you sow, I need to be more intentional about what I'm sowing. And you don't get your crop immediately. For some of you, you know that um, some things take 30 days after you plant a seed, some take 60, some take longer. Um, but you're building your life. 
you're building the fragrance of your life. So in addition to rule number one, I think we need to think about maybe adding rule number two is never miss an opportunity to be kind. Let's fragrance our lives. Let's collect a whole backload of good karma. Let's sow a lot of seeds. And don't look to the person that you were kind to to reap kindness back. You may, you may not. Um, but this is something you do for the other person, but you also do it for you. Because are you going to like the person that you are in eternity? Because eternity is a very long time. So, all God's best. Have a fabulous day.